Good eye mates, nice to see you today. Today I'll be doing a dingo for you. Remember, if you can't understand me, well, that's sad. Good luck with that. So, as I said, I'm going to be doing a dingo today, and with a broken finger, it doesn't make it any easier. Beautiful. And uh, remember, the first half of this video is just going to be normal time, and the second half I'm gonna go into editing and make it time lapse, so you don't have to stare at me just slowly moving my pencil. You're welcome. Here we go, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to be starting with the eye. I mess up here, because why not? Good eye. So, here we go. I'm starting the eye. You're going to be wanting to do the reflection of the cutesy wootsy. So, yeah, once you do that, color that in. Then you're going to do the same thing on the other side, but with the reflection facing inwards, so it's symmetrical. I got a little uneven there, but it doesn't really matter. Color that in. Then I'm going to do the itsy bitsy nose. Just a nice circle, and you'll color that in eventually. You don't do it now, because you'll want to use, like, completely black. We're going to be making the mouth. Cutesy wootsy little open mouth. Little teeth. We're going to be doing the tongue. Don't forget that little line because it makes it look more like a tongue. I'll let you see here. There. And we're going to be starting the ears. So just do it like a triangle like your drunk cat. My lead broke. And the inside. And doing this again. Beautiful. Do your coloring later. I'll show you. And do that circle. Then do that. Make sure that's rounded on the top, because if it's flat or inverted, then it's not going to look very good. Then get your color pencils. I'm using Chihuly here. I don't get all the color pencils out because I'm weak. I still don't get them all out. Still working on this. Shake it. This is the next part of the video. Hello, guys. So we're going to be using black, orange, and then two browns. We'll start with the black. This isn't a very good shot, I apologize. Um, here we go. So just color in the eye, um, except for the reflection part. And yeah, we'll just wait for myself. Remember guys, the second half of this video is on time lapse. So this will go by faster. Still waiting on myself. Still waiting. Come on, Jane, go faster. Come on, Austin. There we go. Good enough. And then you just color in the other eye. I'm too lazy to do that now. Color in the nose. Wait for myself. Almost done. And here we go. So yeah then you'll take your light brown and your dark brown just use a light brown for now color in the inside ears right ear almost done left ear it doesn't have to be perfect not all the spots have to be filled in but if you want them to be filled in then yeah and then dark brown you're gonna go around the edges of the inside ear like that, like a little tent, or a teepee or something. And then you're going to go around with the dark brown around the eyes. Hopefully that works out for you. Still going. Still waiting. No moments of silence in this video. At least there shouldn't be. So then you'll just do that for the other eye. But I'm too lazy to do it right now. I'll just start it. Because I'm a lazy bum. Maybe I do go all around. Way around. Nope, I don't. I'm still lazy. So then you take your orange. If you want to do a dingo, that is. Otherwise, you can do your own colors for this. Yeah, so color the ears orange. 
yeah, just colour the rest of it except for the mouse and the eyes and stuff. Okay, so here we go. I've coloured it in, as you can see here. Uh, I did pink for the tongue. I'm going to take my grey and I'm just going to go around on the orange fur because your dingo might be a little old and you want some variety of colour in there. You can put a bit of... I did dark brown around the eyes and around the mouth. You're going to take your silver or your grey and I just went on the fur. Next you'll take your white. This is optional. I just colour literally on the paper on there I don't know if it makes a difference or not I'll just like doing it and then you're gonna go back to your pencil and we're gonna do the body now so we'll do that this is a bad shot sorry guys you'll do that little paw I fail right here so I go in and erase it so don't don't do that <laughs> sorry guys and then you will go back to that paw and you will do a second paw right there and then you will do a hoop, and then a tiny hoop, and do that, and then do the little leg, and it's beautiful. And then you're going to do a second leg, so it looks like it's on the other side. And then it's beautiful. You'll take it, but you're going to put a line right there, and through the tail. And then you're going to color orange. Uh, through that line because dingoes have a white underbelly so my pencil isn't very sharp I ran out so we'll just wait and wait here we go almost done and then I go in a bit and it's a bit uncurved right there so I go in and fix that so I have the actual drawing right here but I'm not going to show it to you, because I'm mean. And yeah, so I go in and fix that. And I believe I do. Yeah, I come in right there and fix it so it's not so much of a curve. And then you're done with your little dingo. Amazing. As you might have noticed, I did do a bit of um, whiskers there. But I'm too lazy to go back. You're welcome. Bye.